Well, over the last year, ACORN has registered 1.3 million voters, low-income voters, young people, people of color. And these voters really terrify the GOP, so they're doing everything they can to stop it. We need to know the full extent of Senator Obama's relationship with ACORN, who is now on the verge of maybe perpetrating one of the greatest frauds in voter history in this country, maybe destroying the fabric of democracy. John and I are calling on the Obama campaign to release communications it has had with this group and to do so immediately. These attacks on ACORN are part of a pattern of voter suppression that the GOP has been carrying on for a long time. They want everybody to vote. I don't want everybody to vote. Elections are not won by a majority of people. They never have been from the beginning of our country, and they are not now. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. The McCain campaign has now two camps, and one of them is already assuming that he's lost and he's aiming for the post-election warfare in the Republican Party. And part of that is the ACORN strategy, which is trying to delegitimize the result in advance if Obama were to win by saying it was rigged by minority voters. That's what this is about. Someone here keeps yelling ACORN, ACORN. Now, let me just say to you, there are serious allegations of voter fraud in the battleground states across America. They must be investigated. Let's look at North Carolina. We turned in 28,000 applications in North Carolina, and there are investigations into four of them right now. Over 95% of the cards we turned in were error-free. So we're talking about an extremely small percentage of the overall 1.3 million cards collected. To suggest that this is some kind of widespread criminal conspiracy is just absurd. Another ACORN filled out registration form. It's for Jimmy Johns, 10839 Broadway in Crown Point. Jimmy Johns. We decided to track him down. Here he is. Here's the basis of the GOP argument. They keep bringing up cards that have been filled out with names like Mickey Mouse. So here's what would have to happen in order for something like that to swing an election. First, the card goes to the Board of Elections, which checks to make sure that Mickey Mouse is a real person. Somehow, if that passes that check, Mickey Mouse has to show up at the polls, often with an ID, especially if they're a first-time voter. All of them show up, all vote for the same candidate for this to steal an election. And this has to happen hundreds of thousands of times. And that is what the GOP is suggesting, and that is a joke. It is absurd and ridiculous to think that that's what's going on here. And our research is showing this, this more looks like a fraud perpetrated on ACORN. In virtually every case that you've heard about on CNN or Fox News, the cards in question were flagged by us first. Every time there is a registration that is improperly completed, we proactively flag it, bring it to the attention of the election officials so that they know that we think these cards might be invalid. So when you hear about something bad from ACORN, it's because we found it first and told them about it. ACORN. ACORN. ACORN is a left-wing, radical, extremist community group. This is hardly the first time that these role-style tactics have been used to suppress low-income minorities. They did it in 2000. Voters were being removed from the registries by the Secretary of State, Catherine Harris. They did it in 2004. Evidence has emerged that in the last American presidential election, the Republican Party organized efforts to suppress the votes of active duty military, low income, and minority voters by challenging their registrations. The Republicans put in motion a plan to hold down the Democratic vote in key battleground states. Many are convinced that Republican officials broke the law. And they're doing it again right now. Suppressing the low-income minority voters can swing an entire election. A handful of improperly filled out voter registration cards cannot. We have been on the front lines of fighting for immigration reform, fighting uh, predatory lenders, foreclosures, fighting for uh, minimum and living wages. 
people go from believing that they can't do something to actually doing something and, and not only just doing something, doing something major and positive and making it work. We are the organization that 365 days a year challenges the establishment to be fair and just. The right to vote is at the core of our democracy. Trying to take away that vote is perhaps one of the most un-American things you can do.